Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus' pressure name. I welcome you. Is it this end time? Israel war against terrorists. Jesus is coming soon. Yes Bible says. Bible verses about the end times. Matthew 24 verse 6. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars, but see to it that you are not alarmed. Such things must happen, but the end is still to come. Mark 13 verse 32. But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Matthew 24 verse 7. Nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There will be famines and earthquakes in various places. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 13 to 18. Brothers and sisters, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who sleep in death, so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind, who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again, and so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. According to the Lord's word, we tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will certainly not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven, with a loud command, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet call of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore encourage one another with these words. Matthew 24 verses 40 to 41. Two men will be in the field, one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a hand mill, one will be taken and the other left. 2 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 5. There will be terrible times in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderous, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of the good, treacherous, rash, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying its power, have nothing to do with such people. Matthew 24 verse 21. For then there will be great distress, unequaled from the beginning of the world until now, and never to be equaled again. Ezekiel 36 verse 24. For I will take you out of the nations, I will gather you from all the countries and bring you back into your own land. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 52 to 54, in a flash, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will be changed. For the perishable must clothe itself with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality. When the perishable has been clothed with the imperishable, and the mortal with immortality, then the saying that is written will come true, death has been swallowed up in victory. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1. The Spirit clearly says that in later times some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. Joel 2 verses 28 to 32. And afterwards, I will pour out my Spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy, your old men will dream dreams, your young men will see visions. Even on my servants, both men and women, I will pour out my spirit in those days. I will show wonders in the heavens and on the earth, blood and fire and billows of smoke. The sun will be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved, for on Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there will be deliverance, as the Lord has said, even among the survivors whom the Lord calls. We must also specifically remember the words of Jesus in Matthew 24 verse 36, But about that day or hour no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. Now what we should do? This is the hour to think and act? Ask God in the name of Jesus to protect Israel people and ourselves with this Bible verse, Ephesians 6 10, 20. The whole armor of God. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, 
but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly, to make known the mystery of the gospel. For which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly, as I ought to speak. Now pray for ourselves with this prayer. Prayer for protection through the precious blood of Jesus. Lord Jesus, by faith in your merits I now take your precious blood and sprinkle it over myself and my family. Right from the crown of my head to the very soles of my feet, I claim total and complete protection for my life and my family. Lord Jesus keep me free today from evil, sin, temptations, Satan's attacks and afflictions, fear of man, sicknesses, doubts, anger, all calamities and all that is not of thy kingdom. Fill me Lord Jesus with the gifts of your Holy Spirit and grant me the gifts of wisdom, knowledge, faith, understanding and discernment so that I will live today in your glory by doing what is right. I praise you Jesus. I love you Jesus. I adore you Jesus. I thank you Jesus. Prayer to the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus. I am thirsty for the fullness of your Holy Spirit, I present my body to you as a temple and its members as instruments of righteousness, especially my tongue, the member I cannot tame. Fill me I pray, and let your Holy Spirit flow through my lips in rivers of praise and worship. Amen. To get rid of spirit of heaviness. Dear Father. I come before you in Jesus' name. I give you my spirit of heaviness and take the garment of praise. I leave you my depression and dead things that hang on me and I take the oil and beauty. Amen.